Hi friends, today I would like to cover how to scale an AR game object using touch or pinch. Uh, as you see here, I'm using the same project and adding functionalities to it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up if you like what I do or find it helpful. Coming back to the topic, pinch to scale or pinch to zoom, as you see here, can be done in multiple ways. Last week I showed you how to use sliders, that's one way. Other way is to use the lean tween asset on the asset store where you can tween between values and scale them. What I'll be doing is to avoid these two methods and simply dive into the basics and use two touches on the screen and make the AR game object scale. So just to give you a snapshot what we will do in code, we will take the first touch or basically call it touch zero and the next touch, let's say touch one. We then calculate the initial distance between the two touches and then the final distance between the two touches. Then use the ratio of these two distances as a factor and multiply to the existing scale of the game object. So let's go to Unity and see how we can accomplish this. So we are using the same project as last week. If you haven't checked out, the link should be in the description or press the I button. So as you see, we are in a scene where sliders were used last week. We can use the same scene and modify later. So let me create a new scene and call it scale AR object. Now let's get rid of the canvas, which has sliders and also the event system as we will use touch. So the controller has our AR placement script, which we created a couple of weeks back. If you haven't already checked it out, click the I button or check the description box for this tutorial and it has the script attached to it. Now all other game objects are fine. Let's save the scene. Let's double click the AR placement script. As you can see, we have the script already present. We will extend this. Here in the update method, we previously checked if there is no spawned object and placement pose is valid. Check if the touched, check if touched, then place an AR object. AR object. So at the moment, it simply spawns an object. Now what we will do is scale using pinch, using two touches. So to do that, we need to count both the touches. Store it somewhere and measure the distance between pinch and scale depending on how big was the distance of the pinch or two touches. Also we need to ignore if the pitch, pinch distance is small or where the touches are registered accidentally. First. Check if the touch count equals 2. If it is, then store both the touches in touch 0 and touch 1. Then, if any of the touches is cancelled or may be ended, then ignore or do nothing. So if touch 0.phase equals touch, touch phase dot ended or touch 0.phase equals cancelled or do this for touch 1, then simply return or perhaps do nothing. Now check if touch phase has began for the touches, then yes, calculate the initial distance by using vector2.distance and between touch0 and touch1 positions. Let's add a variable initial distance at the top. Also store the initial scale of the spawned object, add a variable at the top of vector3 initial scale. Coming back, let's also log the initial distance and the name of the game object. This is completely optional. Now in else, if touch is moved, we will calculate the current distance same way as above and store as a var. Now we also need to account if it is accidentally touched or the pinch movement is very small. Let's add a condition to counter that. So if mathf.approximately the return distance and the zero, then return. Basically do nothing, the change is too small and can be ignored. So the factor is basically the ratio of the current distance and the initial distance and let's store it as a var. And use this factor to modify the spawned object's initial scale. That's it. Now 
We are done with the script now. Back to Unity. The controller having the AR placement script should be updated now. One last bit, let's go in the prefab and remove the script which was attached to the spider from last week. Now everything looks set, go to the build settings, add your open scene if not already and use this player settings window, change the product name if you wish and then build and run. This is the final result. You can see the two white touches, these white dots on your screen are just for illustration but it implies how the scaling is working. So here it is ready, pinch to zoom or pinch to scale in one of the most basic way possible. That's it for today. If you like my work, give it a thumbs up, subscribe as I'll be posting Unity related videos possibly every week and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you and peace.